Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Candace. I'm Candace, and we're going to be conversing today. Today I'm trying some new hair, but it's very similar to another hair that I've tried. I have some old braids that I'm going to reuse. I feel like we should just jump into it, but let me show you the hair first. The hair I'm using is the is the Afri Natural Caribbean Aruba Soft Deep. Here's what the packaging looks like. It's 12 inches. As you can see, it's buy one get one free at my beauty supply store and it's $6.99 per pack. I got six packs for the price of three. So I think I'm gonna actually need six packs on this. Let me show you what it looks like. I don't quite know what the difference between this hair and the regular um, Aruba curl hair is, but this is Aruba Soft Deep. So I'm going to put the link to the Aruba curl here so you can see it. This hair is very loose. It's a loose wave. I feel like this is hair that you could probably comb through. The ends are very blunt. I definitely think I'm gonna need six packs of this hair, but I also think that this is gonna be hair that um, might not hold a loop the way I want it to. I simply bought this hair because it was on sale. So if it works, it works, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. Let's install a couple pieces on camera just so we can see what it looks like. I'm excited, but I'm also a little apprehensive. I did not get a cap. I'm gonna check and see if I have one in storage. I don't have one in storage. I usually keep back up. That's okay. So let's go ahead and install a few pieces just to see what they're gonna look like. First things first, I'm gonna take one section out. Here's what the section looks like before it's even pulled apart. I generally pull apart one side and leave the other side together so it kind of looks like that. I don't think it's gonna matter too much with this hair. I feel like it's gonna come apart regardless. So we put the hook through. As you can see, my braids are pretty fuzzy. That's okay. And then we're going to put the hair on, close the hook, pull it through. And I think I'm probably going to loop this three times. The reason why I'm doing it three times is because this hair is not kinky. So it's probably going to try to unloop at some point and I don't want that to happen. Then I'm going to pull it apart and make that loop as tight as possible. Maybe it'll stay tight, maybe it won't. We'll do one more. I'm gonna leave about a finger width of space between each of them. And then if I need to go back and fill in, I'll go back and fill in. So I'm doing this again, holding it in the middle, pulling just one side apart. Then I'm going to put it on the latch hook. Pull it through, take it off, and then do three loops again. If I was wearing a cap and I had a good barrier between my real hair and this hair, I would put a dab of glue at the bottom of this knot, but I don't have my cap. So I'm not trying to get glue in my real hair. I'm simply not doing that. It's not worth it for Kanikalon hair. It, it's just not. So I'm gonna install this all over my head. I purchased six packs, so let's see how many we need. So here's what two packs looks like. I definitely wanna go back in in the back a little bit and fill in some spaces but um here's two packs i still have i'm gonna probably end up using maybe five packs because i'm gonna split them apart in the front but put them very close together so it can look super natural but i like the curl pattern i am still concerned that it's gonna come unlooped but you know we'll cross that bridge when we get there so i'm gonna keep going well, I'm back and I've done a little look on my face so you can get the full effect of this hair. I'm gonna tell you right now, I use four and a half packs. I'm probably gonna put another half pack in the back just to uh, cover up spaces and stuff. It's relatively full, but it's just a very soft curl pattern. So I think I'm gonna wanna fill it up more in the back so you can't see uh, the loops. Now, as for the loops in the front, we're just gonna have to see them. They're very apparent, but they don't look bad. One thing that I did try to do was take a little section and kind of comb up the hair. 
to make it look more realistic or to cover the loop it's not really working and I, I'm not really mad about it I just saw another person on YouTube do it and I think that also works better when you have more kinky hair again I'm cool with it if it bothers you that you can see the loops then maybe don't use this hair I tried the invisible loop method a couple times doesn't make any difference as a matter of fact I did it right here with this hair with this little loop one thing that I did notice about this hair is that it doesn't look terrible half up half down doesn't look the best because you can see the loops in the front but if the loops don't bother you it is a really cute half up half down style I think I might try that one day this week just because it's so hot outside but you absolutely can see the loops even when you try to hide it even when you do the invisible loop method um, if that does not bother you or you can get it closer to your edges maybe you should try it I would recommend if you could find this hair on sale don't pay more than like four dollars a pack because I don't think you're gonna wear it long this is hair that you can comb through uh, you can run your fingers through it but be careful because if you snag it the wrong way it will unloop the hair most of the loops I did three some of them I did two even a few I tried four it doesn't make a difference like the hair is just gonna do what it wants to do I think if they remade this hair and put the tiny rubber bands on it that would help it stay better I'm likely only gonna wear this hair for a week because I have uh, something else that I want to do next week with this hair but it will get me through the week it is super super cute very lightweight feels like I'm not wearing anything and get into this feet as well let me know if you have questions about this hair but I can tell you already off bat I'm not gonna wear it for more than a week or a week and a half I will probably try to comb it maybe once or twice but I'm not gonna do a whole lot of maintenance to this hair thanks for joining me on this episode and until next time y'all have a good day